What's happening, webheads? Happy new comic book day. It's a crisp, cool 54 degrees out. Driving with the windows open is absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully, it's gorgeous where you're at. I'm excited to head to the comic book shop as always. And what I get, I don't know. We'll find out very shortly. And I'll see you in a second. Welcome to Spider Slayer's Comic Book Hall, fans. This is episode 607. The video series where each and every week I share with you, of course, what I pick up at Comic Central, located right behind me in the city of Sanford. So if you guys are ever in Central Florida area and you're in Sanford, stop by, tell them Mike Spider Slayer sent you, and you'll get that mysterious black bag, and inside will be your comic books that you purchase. Go figure, right? All right, guys, so let's get started here. What's inside the mysterious black bag? Here we go. Bags right there on the seat. Check out that stack of comics this week. Pretty good stuff. I did get a couple of back issues. So, the first thing I wound up getting is this amazing Spider-Man issue 344 newsstand edition. I have the direct edition. This book is a high grade copy. I did pay $30 for this one. I'm excited to have this first Cletus Cassidy, right? Obviously, the first Carnage, full Carnage has gone down in price and stuff like that. But nevertheless, a cool book to have. Uh, I like Cardiac. I like our Eric Larson. It's like childhood Spider-Man for me. So I dig that. All right. Then I wound up getting Daredevil issue 190, The Resurrection of Electra. So I thought this was pretty cool. They still got a bunch of... Uh, Daredevil books uh, behind the counter and slowly but surely no one else wants to buy them I seem to be the only one so I'll pick them up when I can so there you have it Daredevil 190 all right so let's get into the new comics this week the next book we'll be talking about is the Dawn of DC Titans issue 4 I almost dropped this book but at the end of the last issue it had me intrigued kind of reminded me something from like The Last of Us the artwork is pretty good in the book. I'm just like wondering where we were going with this particular story, right? So I don't know, we'll see what happens with it. I'm very curious in the comment section below, what do you guys think of this comic as of right now? All right, next we have Superman issue seven, 700, 850 issues. This is a super sized issue. Uh, and this book has been pretty good, man. The artwork is pretty awesome. There's this new villain that's been introduced. Superman was captured in the last issue. Uh, and here you get to see him in the chains. I'm definitely looking forward to how this story turns out. Really good. Superman's been really awesome as of late, man. I'm excited each month to read it. Then we wind up getting uh, Nightwing issue 107. Here he's in some pirate ship. We got Heartless involved in the story once again, which I thought was kind of cool. The artwork is pretty good. Um, this story has been off and on for me. It hasn't been nearly as good as it once was when Tom Taylor has started it. And uh, we get to see the return of, I think her name is Bea, which when she was in the days of Rick Grayson, when he didn't have his memory. So it's kind of cool how they brought her back in there and they didn't forget about her. Where does it go from here? I don't know. What's Heartless continued involvement in the story? I don't know either. But with that, I wound up getting this cool variant edition of Nightwing. It has all the different versions of Dick, which I thought was kind of cool. So yeah, that's, that's about it there. <laughs> and then we wound up getting this uh, awesome variants cover for Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. This is the foil edition. I thought it was just badass because you got Kong and Godzilla facing each other and then you got your Justice League characters there. So that was pretty neat. But I did get the main cover because I do want to read this and see what this story is about. I'm sure this is just going to be a lot of fun and you can't take it too seriously. You know, what? you can't ask for anything more when you have King Kong and Godzilla in one comic and then the Justice League, right? Uh, yeah, I wanna see the action that goes on there. And I wanna see what the Justice League does to like save the city and whatnot. And it looks like they're also battling villains. So there's a lot going on in that comic book here. So yeah, check it out. All right, and then we got 
Uh, Green Lantern War Journal, this is issue two. Uh, so the first issue kind of like surprised me. Uh, I was excited to read it going forward after the first issue, right? And we got introduced to this like new Lantern Corps, I guess. It's like when you die, you get this like weird purple ring and you become this crazy like monster creature. And we had one of the lanterns explore it. And I guess, I don't know if that's her. I'm not 100% sure. But the beginning of the first issue was just really intense. So again, we'll see what happens going forward with Jon Stewart there. So there's that one. Next, we have Catwoman issue 58, continuing the Batman Catwoman thing. The best thing about this series so far is Jason Todd, right? It's just like Batman it totally screwed with his mind to the point wherever he gets heightened adrenaline, he gets scared now. So he can't be on Batman's side. He can't be on Catwoman's side. And Batman gave him this ultimatum. It's just like, hey, dude, Jason, now's your chance to live a normal life, be a normal human being, right? It's been an okay series so far. I don't know. We'll see what happens going forward. I do like the Batman stuff more than the Catwoman stuff. So, yeah, we'll see where it goes. All right. And then I wound up getting World's Finest. This is issue 20. So we got the Kingdom Come storyline getting ready to get kicked off here. So we'll see what that has to offer. Great artwork as always here by um, Dan Mora. Totally had a mental breakdown there. So yeah, new story arc. I'm sure that the story will be pretty good here. It never really disappoints, right? Wound up also getting the... Um, I don't know. What do you want to call this one? Foil edition for this one? <laughs> so we just got foil books for everything nowadays, right? So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Now we have, I guess, some Marvel stuff. We got Crypt of Shadows issue one. So if you love anthology books, you love this time of year with the Hall Halloween um, season, this is going to be a book for you, right? So it's got different stories involved with like Scarlet Witch, the Hulk, Doctor Strange and whatnot. Deadpool looks like he's in this book. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's not overly expensive. It's a little bit more pages for five bucks. And then I wound up getting, well, I guess we'll go here to some image comics. We got Hack and Slash Back to School. This is issue one. I haven't read a Hack and Slash book in a very long time. So I was like, you know what? This is good for worthy ones. Let's check it out. Let's see what this has to offer for new readers on a series, right? We'll see if it's new reader friendly. So yeah, we'll talk about that one on worthy ones tomorrow. Sorry if I seem like I'm a complete mess, which I feel like I am. I just got so many things going on right now. My wife is out of town and I'm trying to do a billion things at once. So I'm like all over the place. All right, continuing on, we got Kill Your Darlings. This is issue two. Creepy ass cover right there. This young girl looks like she's had some kind of mental breakdown. She is very imaginative and it feels like her imaginative world has taken her over and she did something very bad, okay, without really spoiling this book. And the first issue was excellent. The artwork in this book is really well done. The character work is really well done as well. So I can't wait to see what the second issue has going forward. And if we get to see this imaginative world uh, going forward. So we'll see what happens there. All right. Then we have Local Man. This is issue six. So we get the return of this issue. I know we had an annual or something like that a couple weeks ago. But now the story looks like it's continuing on. The series has been pretty good. I have been entertained by it. It looks very violent going forward. I love seeing the story of this character by the name of Crossjack who got kicked out of his superhero team and wound up going back to his hometown. And now he's solving a mystery. All right. And then we have Jeff Lemire's The Tenement. This is issue five. So this looks like this has been a pretty scary book, right? Yeah, it has. And it's been really weird at the same time, man. There's kind of things going all over the place. You don't know what's real, what's fake, what's, you know, what's happening next. It really is a book all over the place. And I feel like this book would be better reading it in trade because you kind of forget what's going on. You also forget some of the characters that's going on, but it is definitely scary and definitely worth the read. 
So with that being said, guys, it's time for those webhead shout outs. Our first shout out goes to Tori and he said, did I say there was more to come? Yep, and I'm not done yet. He's showing off all his covers from Transformers issue one, multiple copies of it. He went even more crazy than I did. Congratulations, Tori, on all those copies. Next, we got my man, Tony, who got the first appearance of Deathstroke. That's pretty badass right there in a 6.5. Always a great book to have. Probably better than my raw copy. So congratulations, Tony. That's a great, great book. Next, we have Joel, who I feel got the deal of the week or not if the year. He picked up this baby in a pawn shop for $1.50 and it was Spawn Issue 1. What a win, man. Congratulations, Joel, and thank you for sharing. And then, just announced, guys, if you like CBCS, guess what? The rumors are true. There's new labels, and you know what? They look nice, man. They're popping. So if you guys are into CBCS, uh, you might want to check out these new label options that they have. And if you guys want to get shouted out on future hauls, just head over on the Facebook, search my group, Comic Book Corner 2.0, Web Hedge Unite. You guys got to answer a few questions and abide by the administrative rules, and then you will have access to this wonderful community where we talk about anything about comics, old comics, new comics, convention news, obviously graded books like we just discussed, hard covers i mean everything and anything guys it's a lot of fun and you know what you never know when you can get shouted out on future halls okay so next we have another independent we have beneath the trees where nobody sees this is like a nursery rhyme i don't know this looks kind of creepy look at that cover you got some creepy little stuffed animal or animal guy dragging something in a freaking garbage bag and it's all bloody uh, I, I don't know man <laughs> Check out that artwork right there. Dude, that looks insane. I don't know what to expect going forward with this one. I picked this one up just on impulse buy. I was told it was really good, so that's what I did. Ghost Rider issue 19. You guys know I preach this book. You should be reading it. However, I don't know if you'll understand what's going on at this point. You'll have to buy an issue, uh, I'm sorry, a trade or two. To get caught up but it is such a good series by benjamin percy this is the artwork man this is what you can expect every issue artwork is insane the transformations are insane just learning about ghost rider's new girlfriend talia war road is insane as well and it's just a good book dr strange is in here right now mephisto is in this book so if you love supernatural if you love horror this is going to be the book that you're going to want to pick up all right, and then we got the first issue of Spine Tingling Spider-Man. The Zero issue was like, you know, reprints of everything that came out from the Marvel Unlimited app. Now we get the continuation of the series. So I want to give this issue or a series at least a solid try to see, you know, what does it have to offer? Is it going to continue to be scary? Is it going to be dumb? You know, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Talk about tomorrow on Worthy Ones. Then we got the sensational She-Hulk, right? So I'm looking forward to this one. We bring back the adjective of the story, right, of the title. And uh, maybe this will be a little bit more than just Jennifer Walter's love life, right? But then, of course, you open it up and what she's doing, she's making out with the Jack of Hearts. It's good, but I just want more than just her making out and having a you know, affair with him or whatever it is. I want her to, I want her to interact with more of the people every day, right? That's what I want. And it looks like that's what you get here in this third page. That's what makes this book a lot of fun. Yeah, she's back in the lawyer's office. So yeah, maybe it'll be better. And then of course I had to get the um, variant covers. I wound up getting the Scotty Young variant and it says, yep, this is a breaking the fourth wall joke. You're welcome. <laughs> so there's that one. Then you got an homage to Dan Slott's run from his first issue, which I thought was very nice. I guess the foil cover was delayed, so that one didn't come out. Roy, uh, Roy, what is a Roy son? Rogue Son, issue 16. This is the one series I'm like way behind on right now. 
So I'm going to have to catch up on this. Guys, let me know in the comments below. What are you thinking about Rogue Sun right now? Are you still digging it? Are you still on board? Let me know. A good book, though, is Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue 11. Miles Morales teaming up with Blade in this issue. He's still dealing with his whole spider sense issues. He's not sure if it's right, if it's wrong. Um, he can't really rely on it. He's, he's um, seeing therapists right now, so it's kind of insane. Check out this art page, though, man. That's pretty cool. I wonder what's going on there. I'll have to read that. Then we get the Invincible Iron Man. This is issue 11. So that's cool, right? Emma Frost, Tony Stark, they're officially married. They got married in Vegas. It's not an ongoing thing. It's not going to last forever. It's just something that has to deal with the Hellfire Club. But Tony is digging, you know, Emma Frost. And you know what? I don't blame him. She's pretty hot, right? Great series overall. It does tie into the Fall of X stuff. Uh, but one of the best stories going for the Fall of X. So great stuff here. Looking forward to reading it. Then we have the... Uh, continuation of the Incredible Hulk. This is issue five. As the Hulk is just dealing with this crazy monster who like produces people that are from people's past. So if you go in the area where this creature lives, it will like read your mind and bring out your your I don't know people that were close to you and kind of you know persuade you to come to it and then it'll eat you. Crazy ass monster. The artwork, though, is different in this book. That's, that's a disappointment. Nick Klein was not in the last issue. He's not doing this issue. I hope that he does come back for a future story arc because he's what makes this book complete, right? Without his artwork, it's not quite the same. So we'll see what happens. I mean, look at the cover. He did the, art, the cover art, right? And then you got the Daredevil. This is issue two. Got that Stormbreakers variant. First issue was pretty cool. Uh, curious to see how issue two continues, where we wind up seeing Daredevil getting his memories back. He was resurrected. He didn't remember who he was, where he came from. And now I want to see the story going forward. So there's your artwork there. So we'll see. But then we probably get probably my pick of the week already. I, go, I, mean, I know this. This is big game. This is issue four of five. This has been phenomenal. It's got Kick-Ass in it. It's got Hit Girl. It's got all the properties um, from... Uh, Mark Miller's universe and it's just been outstanding insane deaths there are time there is time travel involved in this comic book it's just been a lot of fun I definitely recommend this if you can't get your hands on this I would say go out there and buy the trade when it does come out because there's only one issue left of it so there you guys have it there is the haul for the week hopefully you enjoyed it I know I stumbled my way through this one, but it is complete. I want to know in the comments below or on the Facebook group, what did you guys pick up this week? And speaking of content, I got more content right here to, for you to click on. This is my top 10 most anticipated comics for next week. And of course, guys, keep supporting your local comic shops. Keep buying, keep collecting, but always remember, read those comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.